up everyone welcome back to the channel today we are locked and loaded about to head out to Orlando Speed World get some practice in the backup Supra the demo Supra some of you guys know it as baby blue it's pretty much all black it's not the color of baby blue anymore but we can still call it that because it's the little brother to big blue today's plan we're gonna be working on um, some drills basically. So we're just there to practice. Some people might think practice is just blast a bunch of tires. Well, when you get a little bit more technical about like car setup and things like that, you don't wanna waste tires cause going to the track is a full day thing, a big ordeal. You wanna get the most out of your seat time. What we're gonna do is practice run up and entries it would actually be the first corner so you run up your initiation on entry then the first corner and i don't have any upcoming competitions there might be something that i attend in the upcoming near future but i'm going to be there with um, nick from taxi garage my friend grant and a couple other people we're just trying to hone skills so that basically just repetitive motion same thing over and over this is very um, key to being great at what you're doing we'll include you guys we'll show you some of the setup we're gonna do and then we'll talk about if we have time and there's enough tire what other drills besides that one I just talked about so it's gonna be a fun day I think my neighbor Jim's gonna go with me he's gonna have a blast because he's never been drifting yet to watch and or hopefully I can get him in the car that would be a funny one Okay guys, let's go. Made it to the track. We're a little late. We only have like two minutes until one o'clock. We're supposed to get here at 12.30, whatever. A little bit of traffic and whatnot and it started raining, so delayed. They barely are starting right now, I guess. So what we're gonna have to do is hustle to get the trailer out. I brought Jim with me. You guys know Jim? We're gonna bust the car out of here, warm it up, get the toolbox out. Then we'll go over some more of the drifting and the drills we're gonna do once we kind of get everything going. We gotta hurry, talk to you soon. All right guys, let's say hi to Nick. Nick from Taxi Garage. What's up, Dan? He put this on today, invited me. We're gonna have fun today, but also training. We're gonna train. I was mentioning to them earlier before I took off, we're gonna do some drills. So we're both like scrambling right now to get our cars ready. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be some weather too in normal Florida fashion. Yeah, we'll drive in the rain if we yeah, have we'll to. Be, we will. Because we don't get to practice that all the time anyways nope. on like a bank, so it's good seat time. So we're gonna get our ducks in a row and then we'll explain to you guys what we're exactly doing when we start doing it, okay? I don't even know what we're doing, so he's my teacher. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, so he's... Oh, wait, no, okay, <laughs> we'll be back. All right, guys, Grant showed up. What's up, Grant? Talk to Grant in a second, I gotta get GoPros ready. What's up, guys? So I'm not just yelling across the parking lot and he didn't hear me. I did not. But we're gonna put that in the video. I'm hard of hearing, so. Oh, I forgot he is hard of hearing. <laughs> we did a couple laps. The car is kind of really easy at this point. Third gear works good. We had to kind of dial in the tire pressure. Second lap, we got it where we wanted. I think I did five laps on a used set of tires, but these are five half laps. This track's pretty brutal on tires. We're just practicing the run up and the first outer. So enough about me, let's see if we can help Grant. Yeah, I'm on uh, used tires right now, so. And what's but, happening? Well, I did FD layout. Um, did all right the first lap, second lap I just washed because the tires were gone, they were gone. So I'm getting like bobbles on the bank. I don't know if it's just like how my rear springs are or. or Wait, it's like. It's move. like, yeah, the, yeah, you'll feel the rear end kind of like wiggle. That shouldn't do that, sir. Are you bottoming out completely, you think? What's your rear spring rate? I don't remember if it's five or eight. I don't remember That's if I ever went down to 5K. It might be 8K, but I don't remember if I ever put the 5Ks in. Hmm. So at, at max, it's an 8K, but then- 5K would probably be too low. The lower the spring rate is on a bank, the more it's gonna dig and want you to push you out of the bank. Hmm. And if you're not experiencing that- I'm pretty, well, I mean, it was- Is a, it a high line or a mid line? Mid, uh, mid to low. 
that's also gonna make it that much harder to drive it because you're because oh, I'm too I'm too it's too, like too low and your your gearing's probably high and you're like whoa I'm third third gear and it's it's I need to watch a lap and then I'll give you some yeah, advice. So. I have nothing at this point that's going to be this, valid. This is going to be a fuck around set of tires. Yeah. Okay, so tires. I'm going to do laps, but get me to watch you. Calm my excitement and get me to watch you when you go. Okay, well, I'll be out there in a second. <laughs> way too much grip on the bank because of the gear ratio difference I think and we're on 285s with a 4.3 so I'm in fourth and my car doesn't make a lot of power it makes like 470 430 torque so we've gone to a 265 shorten the tire height hopefully get some effective gear ratio change and then at that point I'll either buy 285s or 265s so this set of tires will let him know what it's going to do for the comp and then me and him need to work on our timing because I did one chase lap behind him and he did like a two car gap on me and I couldn't catch him. Well I guess we would have to see the, the big difference with the 265 but the same similar thing I don't know if it was a two car gap but there was a gap when I, I would go. Down. Yeah you had at least two on me. And it's like we're trying to get it where I just do the same lap and he can dive in and get his chase on but it was like the timing is not simple because right now there's not a lot of rubber out there so if you get like too deep in the throttle in chase behind the lead car you just blast the tires and then he's walked away from you so we're kind of fighting that at the same time trying to dial in our timing. So let's go back out and then we'll get some footage for you guys. So far, six tires, three sets. It rained, we got a couple more laps in in the rain, so we're getting a little bit of both. Dry and rain practice, but pretty sure someone hit, so I'm gonna walk out there, and show you guys whatever happened, maybe from a distance. I don't know if I'll walk all the way over. It's not good, but you guys probably wanna see. I'd say overall for the drills, we didn't do a bunch of full laps, unfortunately, because of time and tires, but we got our timing down, I think, we got Nick happy with his chases so that he can kind of figure out how he's going to be dominant in the chase behind whoever he drives when he's out here next. And I got some good seat time with leads and with chases. Okay, so it's the 350. That's too bad. So if it's facing that way, he hit and spun around probably. Probably has a lot of bent arms and wheels, unfortunately. We'll try and get a close up when it gets towed back in if we remember. If not, we'll talk with Nick and kind of do a recap. <laughs>
some good seat time in. I feel like at the beginning we were working on our timing for the run up to be able to dive in and be with the other car. Mm -hmm. Whoever was leading, it was still difficult, and so we just kind of figured that out. And towards the end of the day, I, felt I think like we were getting we were getting some good laps in. You know, obviously their cars are definitely like even, but not Close, right but not because because like yeah. I have like momentum speed and you have like turbo speed, right? Yeah. It's like back and forth. I took away a lot because being able one obviously confidently diving in, especially on the bank, like this place eats cars, just like Charlie's car just got yeah. eight, like and being there and making sure that the timing was right on. The initiation and obviously we only ran like three full laps yeah that, we've tried not to do the laps because yeah. they will kill it my so, tires just yeah yeah we got three laps but at i felt you're pretty consistent and i just dove in like 100 percent behind you and there was a couple times where i got like a little too greedy at the yeah. beginning i'm like Woo! but like <laughs> it all the worked out the craziest thing is your waist gate oh you can, is it, i hear it like the one it. that i knew you were there it's yeah. like one I was like we're gonna bump and then like you just stayed in it and it was just like I can't wait to see the footage from the 360 yeah. cam because yeah it was fun it I had a great so time thank so you awesome. for having yeah, me yeah I can't wait to drive again I hope you do amazing at this thank event you. and yeah, we're, we're sitting gonna, second gonna, in points and then that's the leader in points now he will he'll get it fixed he'll get it fixed but you're gonna beat him yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna out and, uh, Stay confident and tell yourself you're gonna do it, it and go get it. We're gonna house it. Let's say bye to all the people, okay guys? <laughs> Got Grant over here. Say bye to everyone. Bye all the people. Maybe yeah. see you at the next one? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty soon maybe. Okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Grant's funny. No. Ooh, what are they getting into over here? Yeah. All right guys, say bye Think to all bye. the people in the camera. It was fun. Here. What do you Till next time. They're fixing their transmission. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and we will be back with another cool video in a couple weeks. See you guys.